Welcome back to Satisfactory, folks. First things first, I forgot that I need plastic to make computers. So I can't actually make them because I'm not producing any plastic yet. So that's a problem. So I also forgot that I hadn't unlocked... Uh, what's it called? Industrial Magic Manufacturing, which I actually need to make computers. So I unlocked that. And that means that we now have another hard drive that is ready to be opened here. So let's see, what do we want? Rubber cable, an alternate for beacons, or an alternate for Caterium circuit boards. I think we're going to grab the circuit boards. Hmm. Because that seems really good. The standard recipe is 12 wire and 6 plastic for 2 circuit boards, 10 per minute. The alternate is 12 plastic and 30 criterium wire for 6 circuit boards, 15 per minute. Yeah, we are going to grab that. And then we are going to stick in another hard drive. And begin an anal an I can't speak. Analyzing that. Okay, so I have crafted up some. Uh, what are they called? Heavy modular frames. Man, my brain isn't working today. So those are ready, and we also have enough to build. I think seven uh, fuel generators once we get that. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's what, 300, 600, That's 1,050 megawatts of, or kilowatts of power. Or is it megawatts? I don't remember. But it's a lot of power. So that's about just under 50% of what we can produce now. So, so that will help. But we need to go and get some oil so if we scan for oil here and go to the map at that menu let's see where is the closest oil I know there's oil out here and are you gonna ping There we go, some pings. Now which way are we facing? So 2,000, 2,500, 2,500, 2,500. More or less the same. So we'll go out to this area out here because that, there's a lot of oil out there and we know it's there. So what do we need to build to make plastic? We need to make assemblers, I think. I'm missing some rotors. I have rotors somewhere, don't I? Not there, not there. Uh, this was meant for rotors. We we'll need to go pick some up. Okay, not a problem. So I think we need assemblers for it, but I'm not entirely sure. I am not entirely sure. Actually, I think I'm wrong. Now that I think about it. Where are the rotors being made? That's stators. The rotors downstairs, maybe? What's this? Stators. Uh, this is rotors right yeah rotors all right so we have some rotors there let's grab some more so we have enough maybe for what we want to do that'll do okay so we have a craft bench right here but we don't need a craft bench right now let's see we need uh we uh that's right we need the oil refinery 
to make it. So let's go upstairs and grab some of the encased industrial beams and build an oil refinery just to see if I'm right. I'm pretty sure I am, but I want to make sure that I grab everything I need before I run out to the oil patches. So let's grab some of those. That also means that I need more encased industrial beams than I was thinking. They are freaking huge. So yeah, plastic. Okay. So we need some oil refineries. We, we just need one for now. So that's fine. Then we need an oil pump, which also takes encased industrial beams. So we need a lot more in, uh, encased industrial beams than I was thinking. Terrific. But I suppose we can live with that. We need some cable. And where do we have cable? We have cable over here. Nope, that's motors, but we need some of those as well. Cable is here. Let's grab some cable. Just fill that up. All right, so we have cable. We could do with some wire. Go there. We'll grab some motors as well. Uh, I don't think we need modular frames. We might need a few of these. And we definitely need some steel pipes. There we go. Anything else? Uh, let's just see. So this will definitely do. All we need now is some steel beams here and that'll do. I'm pretty sure. So let's see if let's build two oil refineries and that so we have everything we need for that. Okay, good. So I am going to run over to the oil and get that set up. Let's just see how long is it until the hard drive is done. Three and a half minutes. I am not going to wait around for that. So I'm going to run over and set up the oil and then I'll be back. See you in a second, guys. Okay, so there were a few errors in judgment on my part on what I was going to need because I didn't consider that we going, we're going to need power over there and we're going to need to pull power all the way and get it around the factory so i have fixed that and also our next hard drive is now done so let's pick something here and then move on so let's see high speed connector We can't actually see the blueprint for the high-speed connector, the standard blueprint. But it is the one that I am most interested in, so let's get that and stick a new hard drive in there. Okay, so that's done. All right, so now I really am going over to the fuel. So, see you in a second. Right, so we are out here at the first oil patch. I have pulled power all the way and it is connected. We have a capacity of 2550 megawatts and we're using 3.7 because our entire factory is stopped, which means all our miners are stopped and so on and so forth. So basically we're only using power to make power right now. So, Let's hook this up. This is our 
uh, what's it called? Oil pump. And it is going. Producing 240 crude oil per minute. These are pure notes, so there is a lot of oil here. I think there are a total of somewhere between four and six patches of uh, uh, pure oil. Pure oil notes, or pure oil patches. So we can produce a lot of oil here. And this is 240 per minute without any power shards in it. So that is really cool. So we're going to build a storage container. I'm missing iron plate. Dang it. Okay, never mind. We're not going to build a storage container. Can we build a industrial storage container? We can. So let's do that. And then we are going to build, I think two oil refineries. And this is a very, very temporary setup, right? And that needs to move a bit. And these are going to go into a litter merger thing, which I also need. Dang it. Okay, so right now it's just going to be one. So you go in there. You make plastic. And then we'll get the industrial container. I can't believe I went out all the way out here without iron plate. That's pretty silly. But it is what it is. At least we can get the production going of plastic and bring some plastic home to make the computers that we need. And that is the main thing. So there comes some plastic. This is gonna take a while. We're producing 22 and a half plastic per minute. So I think I'll let this run for a bit and bring some plastic home and then I will bring you guys back. But yeah, we have our first very little oil production set up here. It's tiny, but it works. So that's something. So see you in a few guys when we have a lot of plastic and we can make the computers and all that good stuff so that we can unlock fuel power and get our whole factory running again. So I'll be back in a few. All right, we are ready to unlock the expanded power infrastructure. I have created enough computers. I have enough frames, heavy modular frames, and I have enough motors on me as well. So let's go ahead and unlock this bad boy. All right, and off you go. The fuel generator will match power generation to the increased consumption of recently acquired technologies and buildings. We'll go. Additionally, improved conveyor belts can now be constructed. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Also, obviously we have a hard drive that's done. So let's have a look at that. Let's see, rubber cable. Enriched coal or beacon. Hmm. Hmm. I am not really sure what I want to do here. I think I'll go with the enriched coal. And we will stick in another hard drive. Where are they there? And begin the analysis there. So, now we can make fuel generators, yay! But we need computers for those. And for to make computers, we need circuit boards, and to make circuit boards, we need plastic. And we don't have a whole lot of plastic left. I brought home 700 plastic, and basically we have 160 left after making all this stuff. So we're going to have to bring some stuff with us over to the oil area so that we can get that set up. So yeah. 
but this is great we can now begin moving forward we're going to need a lot of concrete we're going to need iron and rods we're going to need we're going to need to make more heavy modular frames so yeah there's quite a bit to do there's quite a bit to do and that's perfectly fine that's perfectly fine but we do have kind of an issue with because i have been poaching resources off uh, first of all i don't think we basically have any screws left in, except the ones on the belts so i have poached uh, all our screw m machines i think i have poached a lot of motors and actually that's somehow full again uh, and i don't know how we're getting wire coming in still because i mean that's just been going steadily and i don't know how they're getting power actually <laughs> because it seems like we have some machines that are doing something and that that have power but how that's possible i i'm not really sure where it's coming from because i have turned off everything here you can see it's blinking red so yeah and that building's blinking red and everything in here is blinking red and in here red red yeah so so how how uh, we're producing these things I'm, I'm not i'm not really sure i am not really sure but we are I, I guess it's it was just backlog or something it must have been look at this this thing is completely full and there's one all all the belts are going but they are blinking red so they don't have power so they're just emptying out what was in them i guess and that's that's good that's good so yeah, we are going to go and set all of the fuel up, but I need to prepare for that, and then I'll bring you back when we're over there with all the materials that we have. So see you in a few. Okay, so we are over here at our fuel setup, our tiny little plastic refinery set up i brought a tractor over whoops i did not want to drive it i wanted to open it i found out i had a few more screws left than i thought i have what three thousand four thousand three hundred nine screws left so i can make some computers so that's good i brought some frames some reinforced uh, concrete or encased industrial beams it is right then i brought a few pipes which i actually might not have brought enough of but i was completely full when uh, i went over here so and a bunch of concrete and yeah motors and stuff and i have built a little platform here which is uh, skimming the waterfront here and this is where we are going to build our fuel setup so our fuel generator setup so we need to make let's see power i want i think at least five fuel generators that's that's what 150 300 600, 750 megawatts of power. So, 
let's make it an even 900 and for that I need oil refineries so let's see how many oil refineries do we need we can start by tearing that one down and stick one in here the oil refinery and we will have yes we'll have the oil refineries lined up this way so something like that I think we'll do and if we want to make fuel that costs eight takes eight crude oil to make five fuel 60 per minute so if we speed this thing up because now we can so this would be 480 right which is what our belts currently can have capacity to to take because we got the the Mark IV belts. So we have conveyor belt Mark IV and conveyor lift Mark, Mark IV now. And I did bring over encased industrial beams for making those. So sixty of these. That's eight eight refineries that we want to make. So let's see production. Eight refineries and I guess that's it for now so we need 30 computers we need some steel pipe which we have we need a lot of modular frames how many do we have of those well, let's just check here get all our stuff out that we need for this so we have 57 okay we need 30 computers, that's a lot of computers. So in order to craft those, we need to get our, these things out. And we need to build a craft bench. And we need to make first circuit boards. I have some wire, but I'm kind of thinking not enough. Let's see, I don't have room for the circuit boards now, but... We can get that. Or do I? I brought some circuit boards, didn't I? Yeah, I did. So we can make some circuit boards. We need 300 circuit boards. So we don't have enough wire for that, so we're not going to be making 300 so we'll start out a little bit with a little bit fewer let's see how many is that 85 let's get up to 100 there so that's how many computers can we make now? Five. Because we're missing cable. Which I don't have enough of. Or what? What am I missing? Oh, I'm missing some. Let's just grab that. Computers, where are you? Can make five more. And that'll have to do. So that's two oil refineries. Or two fuel generators. That's not a whole lot. That's not a whole lot. We need some steel pipe on us. We have that over here as well. Just grab that. So now, 
What can we make here? Production, oil refinery. Let's make as many as we can of those. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's five oil refineries that we have down. That'll have to do for now. Then we need fuel generators, which I'm thinking should we make? Should we build up or should we build out? I think I want to build out. We're going to have to make the platform a little bit bigger. The, the size of these things really sometimes cheats you a lot. You, you know they're big, but you still you don't know they're that big. So let's just build out here and come around. Well, that was too far, but that's okay. I think we're gonna widen it anyway. Let's uh, configure these for fuel. 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 And fuel. Right, so that's 300. Yeah, 300 crude oil barrels a minute that we're using here. And that's perfectly fine. Let's put some splitters and mergers on here. And we'll stick in the splitters here. Is it there? And there. Okay. So wait. This is 300 and we can only do 480. So if we take one away, that's 240. And then we put four on the other side. Or five on the other side, wait. Six, 120, 240, actually. Let's do that. So, 120, 240, and then we can put four on the other side, or 480, and that'll work. So, let's put our conveyor belts Mach 4 on the bar, because that's what we want to make. And there, and we just need to stick them in here. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And last one. Come on, you can do it. There you go. And then we need some power poles. They will go on the other side. We'll have one here. A little save lag there. And one here. Hook them up to some power. You oh. uh, there and there. And have them come over here. And we're going to steal this. And let's let that finish up. And then we are going to put this conveyor belt 
over here and there and that should have, should get us producing fuel so then we need mergers over here and then they, they need to be one further out so that we have room for the power poles there 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 and we will stick in the belts and hopefully we will see fuel coming out you please thank you and do we have fuel we do excellent so that will power out up at least some of our oh i forgot to fill this in it will power up at least some of our Oil, oil generators or fuel generators. So well, that's good. And let's finish filling this in. All right. Last row. Tear you down. Okay. And then we will start our not biomass burners uh, those are old then we'll start this here uh, let's line it up something like this And these things are even bigger than the refineries, I think. Ah, about the same. About the same. Okay, and we need a power pole. We'll put that down here. And then we need splitters. Here. And we need Mark 4 belt. That's straight. No, that's nowhere near straight. So this is off. We need to push it back one step, I think. Push it back to there. And then put down the splitter. Which we want there, I think. Is this straight? No. That's not straight. I want it straight. So we will put down the splitter. See, this it goes there. Let's try this again. Right? Yeah, straight. Okay, that means that we, we can replace you again. Fuel generator. So there it lines up. Let's put you down like that. A3. So that now is in fact generating power. So we now have 2700 capacity. Excellent. We'll be able to hook up our 
factory in no time. All right, so get another fuel generator in there. And get that hooked up as well. Guess not. You go there. Okay. So there we go. Oh. Might help to hook it up to the rest of the power lines. There we go. We now have two of these hooked up. Almost. There we go. And there the pistons start pumping. Fantastic. Very, very nice. Let's crawl up here and have a look. So yeah, there's another oil patch over there, and there are at least a couple more around here. So we'll be able to supply a lot of these because these consume, consume I think, I think it's one every five seconds normally. Yeah, five seconds. So if we are producing Let's see, from these 480, so that's five fuel, 37 and a half per minute, that's 75, that's 150, that's 300 fuel from one of these going at 480. So that's 300 fuel. A minute and these need what so these need one every so we can fuel up 12 of these yeah well actually that's for a hundred Right? I think we can fuel up 36 of these. More. 60. Close to 60 of these we can fuel up. So yeah, we should be set for power for a while once we have our computers and everything made for them. So that is really cool. I love it. And now we're not producing plastic, but we do have some plastic left. So can we make a couple more? Let's see, we need to make circuit boards and make one more at least. That does mean that we'll be out of wire, I think. Uh, where are they? We need 50. No, we need. Yeah, we need five computers, so we need 50 circuit boards. We have three. So let's make up two so that we have there. And that means that we can make another refinery. Or not refinery, uh, fuel generator. So yeah, very nice, very nice indeed. So I think I will try and craft up uh, as much as I can to make as many of the refineries or the oil generators as I can and get that built. And then I'll head back to base and then we will see if we have enough power to fire up the factory in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.